fantastic Jack Wright! Uh, hello, Jason. Hello, Kelly. Hello. <laughs> it's good to be here. Thanks for telling me the mic was off, uh, everyone. It's good. Hey, uh, <laughs> you're just looking at me thinking, man, is, is he going to work it out? No, no, I wasn't. No, I was not going to work it out. The little man with the hat and the lanyard had to come and tell me. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Anyway, hello. I'm so sorry. That was rude. Uh, man, what's, uh, what's going on? You guys like movies? Yeah. No way. Me too. Pretty cool. I, uh, I watched this movie. I don't know if you guys know this movie. I'm assuming you will. I saw this movie recently. It's called The Sound of Music. Are we aware of this movie? <laughs> yeah. A couple of laughs. The Sound of Music. That's good. Because I, uh, I, I never saw that movie as a kid, right? Which is, uh, that's the way you're meant to do it, right? So it was very apparent while I was watching it that, that is the way you're meant to do it. Uh, but I, I never saw that movie as a child and I watched it for the first time ever as an adult quite recently, uh, because of marijuana addiction. That's why I did that. And uh, it's, that's, a, that's a strange thing to do. That's a strange experience watching that film, if you've never seen it as a kid. Uh, first observation about The Sound of Music. OK, that, that movie has the wrong name. All right, that, that movie should be called Nuns vs. Nazis. You know what I mean? Like, how, fuck, how fucking weird is it that they didn't call that film Nuns vs. Nazis? You know what I mean? Like, that's a, that's a big budget picture. There's money behind this thing. And they're still there. Like, oh, we should call it The Sound of No, Nuns vs. No, you know what I mean? You got, you got to cut to the chase, right? You got, you got to give it the exact same marketing as Snakes on a Plane. That's what you got to do. All movies should be named like Snakes on a Plane. Have you seen Snakes on a Plane? You have? Well, I haven't, but at least I know what the fuck it's about. You know? That's what I'm saying. See, it should be called Boat vs. Iceberg. You can't just name it after the boat. It makes no sense. That's half the story. It pisses me off. They should, have, they should have a director's cut of that where it's just four hours of footage of an iceberg and then a boat just goes Pfft. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then Kate Winslet floats past on a door, whatever. <laughs> Director's cut. I, uh, this is good. But yeah, I enjoyed the sound of music, man. I, uh, there's a lot of songs in that movie. I don't know if you remember the songs, if you've seen it. There's, uh, they get stuck in your head, these songs. They're catchy. Uh, you, got, uh, you got ones like uh, Do Re Mi and uh, The Hills Are Alive. And uh, I quite enjoy that one that's like, I am 16, this is illegal. You know the one. And uh, <laughs> that's one of the songs from the movie. And uh, this is good. But I, yeah, I'm, I was kind of surprised by how much I enjoyed it. Because normally I have this weird thing where I don't, I don't really like music, right? It's because I do comedy and music's like one of the few art forms that's more popular than comedy. And so it bugs <laughs> me. I, got, I get kind of protective and territorial. Like one thing, this is one thing that annoys me about uh, music. You see this all the time in song lyrics, right? Where whoever's written a song, okay, they have this habit, right? Where they will set up uh, questions in the lyrics of their song and then never answer those questions. <laughs> Okay, which sounds like a bit of a, a nothing thing to get upset about, but that's not a move that I can pull doing stand-up comedy, right? I, you gotta be rocking up with all of the answers every single time if you do stand-up comedy. I'll give you an example. Knock, knock. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, if I, don't, if I don't have an answer to that, that's bad comedy, we can agree, right? But Bob Dylan, he gets to go around the whole fucking world just being like, ah, oh, how many roads must a man walk down? Or, you, know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And people, People fucking froth over that cunt. They go nuts for him. They go, oh, you're so clever, Bob Dylan. So profound what you said in your little song or whatever. It's annoying. It's annoying. And songs are always pulling that move, dude. They're never answering their own questions, right? Like, how am I supposed to know whether or not those people ever made it to Funky Town? Like, they don't, they, sh they don't, you know what I mean? You can't just talk about, talk about, talk about moving and not tell me how to fucking pan out. You dogs. You absolute dogs. What happens at the end? Oh, my goodness me, man. I don't know. You get, uh, you get like, romantic songs. You get love songs and stuff. You can't really do, like, romantic stand-up comedy. That's not a thing. Um, but it's, uh, I don't know. And sometimes you get these, like, uh, these romantic love songs or whatever, and they're written about, like, specific people. And sometimes they've got, like, specific people's names in them and stuff. You've probably seen that. Um, and this is one thing I reckon about romance. Uh, romantic gestures and stuff, that's always just in the eye of the beholder. You know what I mean? So say someone you're into, you've got a bit of a crush on this person or whatever, and then they rock up and they've, they've written you a little love song with your name in it. Yeah, you might be like, oh, that's sweet. You know, that's nice. I'm going to cherish this moment. Okay, if someone that you're not into, right, rocks up with a song that they've written for you, you're like, ah. Uh, 
how long is it? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> fucking, no, nah, burn it onto a CD and then burn the CD, dude. I don't want to deal with this. This is Cooks. Chuck it off a cliff, man. Get rid of it. Uh, no good. Do you, guys, you guys remember this song that was a big hit a few years ago? It's called uh, I Got the Moves Like Jagger. You remember this? I got the boo hoo 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 Mick Jagger. Because <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how you guys all feel about uh, Mick Jagger, okay? And specifically the way that he moves his body, right? But uh, I've seen him. I've seen him move. I've seen him on the television doing his concerts and stuff, moving. I've seen Mick Jagger move. And in my opinion, Mick Jagger moves like a fish on a riverbank, okay? <laughs> like a fish on a riverbank. And I am not just saying that because he's got big lips and he's taken a long time to die. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. I accept there are multiple parallels that you can draw between Mick Jagger and a fish, but I'm just saying that he's a floppy little dog cunt and we shouldn't respect him. That is what I'm saying. I do not understand the popularity of the Rolling Stones. I do not, I never have. I, uh, what about this? You guys, you guys remember this dude, Patrick Swayze? Yeah. We know, firm yes from the third row. Yes! Yes, we all remember Patrick Swayze. What are some movies he was in, guys? Ghost, ghost, dirty dancing, dirty dancing. No one said Roadhouse. That's good. I, uh, there's always, there's normally one dude at the back. Look, Roadhouse. He was in Roadhouse. People forget about Roadhouse. I don't want them to forget about Roadhouse. I, um, now Patrick Swayze. He was an actor, of course. He's in all these films that we've mentioned. Uh, but he was also a bit of a singer, right? And if you've ever seen Dirty Dancing, uh, you have in fact heard the song that he recorded because it's on the soundtrack. Uh, and the song is called She's Like the Wind. Do you guys know She's Like the Wind by Patrick Swayze? Yeah. A couple of nods, that's cool. Doesn't matter, everyone else, if you're unaware of the song, right? All you gotta know about She's Like the Wind by Patrick Swayze, right, is that it is a soaring emotional love ballad, okay, from actor slash singer Patrick Swayze, right? And what it is, it's about a woman that he's into who is apparently like the wind, <laughs> okay? But we're going back to my key issue with music not answering its own questions because at no point during this song, do the lyrics even attempt to explain how this woman is apparently <laughs> like the wind? You know what I mean? Like, she's like, okay, I'm assuming she's hard to talk to and she ruins picnics or whatever. I don't know. I don't fucking know. You know what I mean? It's like, could be it. I gotta fill in all the gaps by myself again. It's like, oh, okay. Okay, she's like the wind. Uh, uh, she must at all costs be kept separate from cocaine. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, sorry. Sorry, Patrick Swayze. I'm sorry, she's like the wind. I should avoid pissing into her. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. And that's why music sucks and comedy rules. I, I have a show in the Sydney Comedy Festival that is called She's Like the Wind, and you should come to it. It's called She's Like the Wind. It's called She's Like the Wind. I don't, I don't know if I mentioned this, but my show is called She's Like the Wind. Look up that show. My name is Jack Wright. Have a lovely night. Thank you. Jack Ryan, ladies and gentlemen, keep it going.